some uh, some people coming in. Double check, I'm actually streaming. Alright, well, I hope that uh, people can hear me. Hello, uh, everyone. I'm Two Sun Oto I'm going to bring you the second part uh, of this Gather Racing versus Dirty Racing League uh, community event where uh, we are being smashed at the moment. Uh, don't worry about that, though. We've got our best and brightest drivers on it, and I'm sure they're going to be able uh, to claw this one back for the moment whilst we're waiting in the downtime between each lobby to get everything ready. Uh, any questions that you have, put them in the chat, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them and well, I think Tiger already told you where uh, he's going hello Woody uh, bad luck yesterday uh, I'm not being able to get the, uh, the GT Sport win but a great driver nonetheless um, so until this chat here because then we get some, uh, some more people yes we are back Gav and um, I think that's got to be the fastest uh, changeover between commentators uh, that we've ever had because it usually takes us well a lot longer than that but uh, anyway let's take you through um the championship standings as uh, as they are it's a finished one two at the moment but i'm sure pope will be doing everything that he can uh, to change that he's in third and 22 points ton ton sack ton sack um, i hope i'm saying that right he's in fourth anyway on 15 points tied with zetic orioles who crashed out uh, of that last race zobzon that's a great name uh, in sixth on 12 points and rump paddy 18 in seventh also on 12 points uh let Le Le I, I need Aston grin for this he's in eighth on 10 points and uh, geek fusion is ninth uh, on eight points tenth is rasan x and followed by bon evil after which sounds like at her, but uh, it isn't. Uh, here's, um, I'm just going to call that here's, I'm not going to attempt that, he's in 13th. Uh, Dan Schneider, uh, one of our Super League drivers, is 14th. Normar Shadow is 15th. Shanks is 16th. Finn is 17th. Natty is 18th. Greg's the 19th. And Cash Stengel at uh, 20th. And I hope that those drivers on zero points can score a few points. I was talking uh, to the boys before, uh, our boys and girls, before we, um, came in here to start the stream and I have to say they are feeling a little more confident uh, around this track so hopefully that translates obviously Natty uh, almost won this race in the Premier Series last season uh, on his way to winning the championship there actually uh, Cash Deng will be looking to close that gap to absolute 11 in the Premier Series uh, as well uh, when we head to Singapore in a couple of weeks time let me have a look down here in the chat see if we've got any questions oh, uh, Cash Deng or Tiger went go-karting uh, real life go-karting not fake go-karting uh, yeah, for the first time ever, so that's why he is not here. And I am. Uh, I hope you don't hate my voice that much. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mike. Mike, sir, for the good luck. We'll be, um... Is Atom Grin... No, that he, he, uh, he thought about it, but then he thought that uh, he wouldn't betray us after he won the, uh, the uh, GT Sport race the other day. Um... Singapore is quite nice, yes, it's a, a lovely city as well, city-state obviously, um, in Asia. I think my dad's been there once or twice uh, over the years. Any other questions in the chat? No, Pierre, he will not spin. He will not spin. No one will, no one will spin. Alright, so we are back here. Just waiting now till we uh, get our drivers back in the lobby odd track to choose Singapore um to be honest I wasn't that much involved in the track selection process I assume that it is a track that we apparently like so that's what we're doing but that uh, yeah I, I was not too involved in that I personally maybe wouldn't have picked a street track where it's hard to overtake, but uh, our guys like it, so... talk about stuff that's happening later on in the week so uh, tomorrow we've got um our two commentators zexify and nd they'll be commentating on uh, the 
weekend league there and uh, on Monday you can join me and Tiger we'll be bringing you through all of the academy action uh, taking place from Monza I think this week then on Tuesday you can catch the freshman league also from Monza and that will be Tiger and Evan who I think is back now I'll be commentating full time over there Mr Evan Dalton boy F1 on Instagram if you've uh, heard of him and on th on Wednesday sorry it'll be me and Natty in the commentary box of the Premier Series where Cash Stengel uh, is looking to close the gap on Absolute 11 and then on Thursday join Tiger and Dutchie I think it will be or Thunder if Dutchie doesn't want to do it in the uh, Super League uh, but we'll also be at Monza trying to see what we can do about ZTEX Championship League talking about things closing drivers are back and readied up we are going to get ready for this race I hope someone didn't disconnect there like they may have done uh, during that oh uh, weekend league is next season sorry uh, yes I forgot the weekend league had finished apologies uh McQueel, yeah, we've been good races so far, just uh, not for us, but hopefully we'll have some nice clean ones and there will be no races. Uh, Natty, um, don't go into the back of someone, please, if you can hear me. I don't know, of course, uh, good luck to um, our Finnish competitors as well. We were meant to have an all British squad, but um, yeah, we ended up with Natty on the team, so <laughs> that kind of went out the window. Uh, it's still you and ND commentator. Alright, well, I will definitely take a note of that then. Zexify. <laughs> yeah, I knew Natty heard that. But uh, yeah, all part of the fun and games here at Gavra Racing, obviously. Hey, that uh, commentator's handover has actually been a good practice for the, uh, for the GT Sport 24 hour race happening on the 24th of July, where we'll be uh, handing over the commentary about eight times to um, try and get through that period. So if you're interested in signing up, there are sign ups available uh, on the website over at Gavra Racing. Uh, dot Vista. I'm sure Gav will uh, send a quick link into the chat as well. One of the bots will at some point. And I was just tracking GT3. Yeah, that would be that would be interesting, uh, Tom and Savvy. I think that would be very very interesting. I think Porsche's supercut maybe almost raced around here. Anyway, let's get going then for the one shot qualifying here under the lights in the city state of Singapore. I am not even going to try and commentate on this because it moves at way too fast a pace. But I can tell you that here here's the beersy. Here's he busy. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to assume it's that is uh, leading the way. Uh, Shankster and Cash Engel though seem to be uh, putting on a fairly good performance at the moment. That being said, After has just gone uh, ahead of both of them. Von Evil and Gregster seem to have had a bit of trouble there in the middle sector. Yeah, uh, Gregster's had a massive problem uh, somewhere in there, and we are being shafted down the pack at the moment. So. Uh, Hopefully, uh, our man from the Premier Series, ooh, Cash Stengel, can help us with that. And Shanks has crashed. And Geek Fusion's crashed. Okay, well, Cash Stengel's still in this, though, as is Z-Tick Oreo, season 5th, uh, I, I think. Oh, no, he's in 4th now. Yep, Z-Tick making up time uh, on the Finns as they head through the uh, second sector now into the final sector over uh, the bridge here in the Marina Bay. And now accelerating out 23 corners around this track. Uh, under the lights, locked up there, going to the final sector. And hopefully he can keep it all together now as we head under the bridge, one of the most iconic corners in Formula 1. And through the final few corners now, here comes Dieter Gorio, your Super League Championship leader. He's going to be going towards the line now, shifting up to the gears. The two very fast final corners here, both of them left-handed. Dieter to the line, what's it going to be? It's P5, it looks like. And look at the times filtering in there. Everyone's so close together, but it is going to be a finish. One, two, three, four, which is uh, obviously not great for us. <laughs> right then, so let's take you through the grid. Then after on pole, Janet in second, here's the busy in third, and Leitonen in fourth, Zetek one of ours in fifth, for Malt, um, Malt, uh, <laughs> And seventh, Ton Tatsk in eighth, Rasanex in ninth, and Cash Jungle in tenth. Zobs on the only Finland, Finnish person after the top ten and eleventh. Dan Schneider in twelfth, Natty thirteenth, Greg's the fourteenth, No Omar Shadow in fifteenth, Finn in sixteenth, Pope seventeenth, Geek Fusion eighteenth, Shankster nineteenth, and Bon Evil last.
So ground to make up then for for us for us lot here apparently. I should be um. I will. I I was considering um driving, but uh, I chose not to um in the end. Finland is dominating this world. Uh, certainly, this world of um fake Formula One racing, but <laughs> nonetheless, get ready to rumble here. Round three of four, so we've got one race left. Uh, what track it is, that will be a surprise to me. 63 comments there yeah, already, so we've got a lot of people um, already in the in the chat contributing to the conversation. Always nice to see. I hope we can get back up to uh, those 60 odd people who we saw before. Yes, there are many Finnish flags. So just gonna get ready to get underway here. Yes, we do have the excuse that not all of our best drivers are here. We do have that excuse. We we have put in some um, substitutions. Yeah, we unfortunately couldn't get a grid of ten Super League drivers. So, yeah. Of course, Nat is actually Super League driver. He's down in thirteenth at the moment. So we're going to get underway for the formation lap, uh, which I had no idea was actually happening. So I'm going to wish our wish our boys on well. Hopefully they can get through the pack fairly quickly and uh, get up and challenge for these uh, this position. I can see this race going one of two ways realistically. It's either going to be very clean and we're going to have incidents due to driver error, or it's going to be chock full of racing incidents which um, I personally hope it isn't because I'd like to see some good racing uh, around this track. Have to wait and see what uh, setups everybody is rolling with at the moment. That is a very nice delivery I have to say. Oh and Zeta Corio's is car, that is a lovely delivery he's got there. Um, as you can see most of the uh, Finnish drivers opting with the white and blue uh, as seen in the Finnish flag with most of our lot going for our red and black design which has absolutely nothing to do with any of the countries represented so um, yeah well, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get on with that Dan Shadok there in top and on a very similar livery to, uh, to Natty as well there Natty uh, in the Union Jack uh, liveried red car there for Gavra, Super League driver, and uh, NDN Gaming over on the YouTube. We recently got to uh, 300 subs, I think it was, or 200 subs. Make sure you go uh, check him out as well, it gives us a lot of Gavra racing content on the rare occasion he decides to make some and not steal it. But um, yeah, going through the final sector now on one of the longer formation that's of the year, as I said before, 23 tracks down here, very little elevation change, obviously, us being in the middle of a well, massive urban metropolis. 15 laps, one of the longer 25% distance races as well. As uh, with leaders making their way now through the final sector. And uh, yeah, if a lot of, uh, ERS is definitely very, very tricky to save here. Uh, who are the best drivers? Well, uh, I was, uh, if we're going like purely on statistics, you'd have to take the top 10 of a Super League, to be honest with you, Zexify, but I'm not sure if that is um, completely and totally accurate. I know I've one has had a pretty terrible season, but uh, I'm going to go back up here to the front. I'm going to hide the UI from the screen, and we're going to get going here for 15 laps. Uh, in this race. They say uh, as a commentator that you shouldn't be biased, but I'm going to throw that out the window right now. Come on, Gavra. Let's get this done. Let's put one over on the Finnish blokes. As we go to five, red lights, under the lights, and when they go out, we're going to not be going because this is still a Codemasters game. And they're off. Wow, that was really bad timing. Now, there we go. So, a uh, pretty equal start from the front row. They're going three wide. Uh, are the Finnish team into turn one? Five wide almost with Zeta Gorios being pushed out onto the uh, runoff area there. So, head their way now through turn two. A lightning start for all of the Finnish drivers. One, two, three, four, and five as it stands. No massive drama, though, as all the cars can offer line through the first sector. Then Zeta Gorios finds himself down in sixth position. Has lost a tenth. Has lost a position, sorry. Uh, off the start. As Cash Tegel looking to make a move, perhaps, on 
on the car in front as Rump's daddy's going to make a move on Z-Tick with Sick, but Cat's going to go round the outside. Rump's kept it on the inside. Cat's going to snap a very good steer. Manages to save the car though, and Z-Tick squeezes out Rump Paddy uh, for sixth position. So a relatively clean start then for all of our drivers. And we've had a bit of a tangle at the back here, it looks like. Uh, Geek Fusion, oh, no more. Shadow is round at the back. He spins himself back out and gets going once again. But Afta's going to be leading through this middle section now to head over the Anderson Bridge and into the hairpin. And we've got oh, yellows everywhere. Is that a safety car? Nothing's come up on my screen. Give me a second here. Uh, I believe this is a virtual safety car. Someone's picked up a penalty. Bon Evil has gone off in the middle sector as well. Trying to see if she has uh, any damage. Uh, yes, she does. That is quite substantial front wing damage. So a virtual safety car, I think this is, which should neutralize the race and keep the gaps at a constant then. So we wait to go back to green flag racing. Could we see some drivers come into the pits, maybe for a very early undercut? Obviously this is a 25% race, so tyre wear isn't as much as a factor as in our usual 50 percenters. The top five all staying out here. Does anyone duck? Oh, does anyone duck into the pits? No, they don't, and Cass has been given a drive-through penalty. Which he is going to serve straight away. And Dan Shadow going down the inside. So Greg's going down the inside of Tontax there. Great move uh, from the Brit. Puts himself up to P9 now. But Tontax going to spike him back now. Three turn being up towards turn four. Then we'll go wheel to wheel into turn four. Greg's drawn the mediums. Tontax on the softs. And he's going to hold it round the outside. Greg pushes him wide and now down the back straight in. No GRS as of yet. That two of 15 here in the Singapore Grand Prix. And now Greg's going round the outside. Closes the door. And Greg Gregster seals the move and gets it done. Great move from Gregster. And uh, let's just try and see. Uh, will our guys on a little bit here as uh, Zeta kind of finds himself locked out uh, of the top five here. I've got some points to claw back now. Gregster and Dan Shanderberg get themselves up into the top 10 now. Oh, Gregster's gone very wide. Will Natty ever look on this guy's racing teammate? He's gone for it into the hairpin! And he's got the move done. And Dan Schneider goes through as well. I'm not allowed to break that in communications. Well, if that was planned, it was not planned extremely well. That was hair raising stuff there. Dan Schneider making the move on Natty as well. So we've now got cars in 6th, 9th and 10th then after two laps of racing here. And a big job now for Dan Schneider to chase down that 3.7 gap, 7 second gap, sorry, uh, to Rathenen in 8th position. One minute 38.7, the fastest lap of the race as it stands by Lertonen, your man uh, in second place, or woman. Uh, DRS has been enabled now as Tontas uh, goes into the pit lane. Cars lying astern at the moment, and no one really being able to go for a move on each other as of yet. We have some infighting maybe from the Finnish drivers as they make their way now through the lighter stages of the first sector. I'm sure Zetic will be doing his best to uh, chase onto the back of this, and indeed he is. The gap's now seven tenths of a second, but the. Oh no! As Cash Stengel has retired from the session, I think that may have been a manual retirement. Alright, well, it's okay. Uh, Bonnie is also uh, out of the race. Still got eight drivers in this, though, and only the top ten get points. So I'm sure if you get on with it, we can still secure uh, some fairly significant points here. As all we are going to get some infighting from the finish lot as a uh, multi who. Uh, multi, leave that multi, makes a <laughs> uh, move down the inside of Piersy Beersy. That's an easy name to pronounce there. Uh, Zetic now is looking very interested on the back of this group as they make their way through the final sector underneath the bridge here. Still keeping it fairly clean. 37 people watching. Thank you to everyone who is tuning in here. Greg's picked up a three second time penalty, so that won't be good uh, for us, although he is currently down in P12. Down the main straight now, DRS open once again for Zetic. Can he make a move here potentially on the car in front? Just a bit too far behind uh, at the moment here. Uh, Dan Shadow is 
slightly closing the gap a bit. 3.9 seconds now. That gap is like now. It's now. Uh, now is indeed going up. And Greg's is out. So and that is that a safety car. I, the game. I think that is a safety car. That is a yellow dot out on the screen. So we do have a safety car here. That's not come up uh, on my screen. There we go. So I had to reset the UI. There we go. So safety car confirmed. And. Uh, that will close up the gaps in the pack and we'll have a safety car for about uh say maybe two or three laps the safety car uh, sorry the field sorry uh is very spread out as it stands but that should give a, a chance then uh, for the gathered drivers to get back uh, out onto a set of the soft tires maybe and then really go for it in the closing stages of the race but I predict we're going to see all drivers into the pits now. Of course, we don't know uh, who's sharing a pit box with who, uh, which should make things quite interesting as we head into the pit lane. Alright then, so, safety car out, lap 4 of 15. Still 9 to go, still 9 to go. Potentially looking good. Or better than uh, the last race, hopefully. There's uh, I've got some weird textures going on on the screen, and indeed everybody is coming into the pit lane. So, who will get held up, who will not, and who will come out in front after makes his way uh, into the points? Then, does anyone stay out? No, literally everybody is in. Oh, got five second time penalties being given out uh, for the finish drivers. Let's see if our man Zetic Oreos is affected in the pit lane. He is not, he is in, and he has got a fresh set of medium tyres on, and he is back out again. That is uh, good news uh, to see. I think he may have actually jumped a couple of drives. Indeed, he has. As Matty stayed out. Well, Natty's going to have to make a stop at some point in this race. And he's now caught the safety car. Right, well, I, I personally hope that he knows what he's doing. And I believe he does. But why have we gone to... The, some drivers going to the hard tyres. Okay. So we've got Shankster, Pope and Geek all going to the hard tyres. So they're going to hope to um, really push on those tyres and be able to close the gaps and overtake the drivers in front once their medium starts to wear out a little bit. And uh, the problem that I'm now seeing with Natty's strategy is that the entire field has now caught up to him. Which means that he is going to fall back probably to behind where he was before. Well, one thing that's quite uh, confusing is obviously because Zetic uh, has the white colored primary uh, on his car. Which means he's coming up here as a, as a white car but uh, obviously it's uh, red and darker red also so uh, not too bad but we've currently got three cars in the top 10 which is still better than last time so you know uh, small baby steps baby steps yes I'd also definitely say uh, interesting interesting tactics uh, from Nasty out I'm, I'm going to trust Natty here, and I'm going to trust that he knows what he's doing. But at the moment, he's going to fall back out into about, uh, you would say about 13th or 14th position here. Does he go into the pit lane? No, he stays out. So Natty here is uh, hoping for a, another safety car fairly quickly, it must be said, uh, if this is his current strategy plan. It does count, yes. We had now a little lap. I, I like your positive attitude, Thomas. That is a very positive outlook. I like that. Yeah, there, there we go. Positive mindset is worth two tenths. That's what they don't tell you. Yes, Macy. Yeah, uh, no, yeah Natty, hold them up. Just hold them up. And Natty will never piss. Tactics, <laughs> boys. Uh, let's hope Natty uh, can uh, bring it home then. Hold them up a bit as uh, Shanks has come into the pits for a set of mediums. Oh, that's really quite clever then. So they've gone back now onto the medium tyres uh, to make sure that they've used them so they don't get disqualified at the end of the race. But now they've used two different compounds of tyre. And yeah, could be a, a good play there from Shankster. 
now has got fresh mediums and all of the cars in front of him uh, as well. This does bring the likes of uh, No Mars Shadow uh, back into it, the likes of uh, Pope and Geek Fusion back into it as well. And Dan Shadow, who's effectively had that gap closed for him now as uh, the driver's in front. But I'm sure Natty will be uh, doing everything he can to stop the Finnish drivers from passing him. Let's see if we can have a look at how much fuel uh, Natty has got left. I think that's about plus 2.3 once he stops weaving about. And so uh, the finished drivers seem to have a little bit less fuel uh, at the moment. But we are under safety car conditions, of course. So uh, we're getting a flat out finish to uh, flat out drive to the end. Sorry. Safety car will be coming in this lap. I'm going to go back to green flag racing. I'm going to put on my American commentator's hat here. As a, uh, let's say the pace car, the display uh, around the final sector. X Nanny G leads the way. I don't know how he's typing with you. He's a man of many talents, apparently. And drive and text at the same time, although obviously don't drive and text. We don't condone that here at Gabba Racing, obviously. Uh, uh, the safety car then will be making its way into the pit lane. And when it does, Natty will become the de facto safety car. He decides when the field gets back to green flag racing. He's backing it up in the final sector then. Where does Nat decide to go? He has gone now. Boogity, boogity, boogity. We're back to green flag racing here in Singapore. Natty leads the way then after in second. And look at Zetek Oreos over the back of Piercy Beers now into turn one. to have a look to the inside. Just starts out of it. Though. Oh, we go into the corner and Morty then nearly went into the back of Zetek as Dan picks up a three second time penalty. That could be crucial in the outcome of this race. Zetek Oreos then now looking at the back of PSP. Can he make a move into turn four? No, because Morty's making, made a move down the inside of him, but on the exit, Zetek gets the better traction and he keeps the position. Rasmus now looking hungry behind us as well. Zetek's going to have to go defensive until the end of the final sector. And there's not even a big crash there as Rasmus slows down to let Yannet back through again and Nat has already fallen down into second position now only Lettonen behind him as now they make their way through the second sector can Lettonen make a move into what used to be the Singapore sling here up until 2013 no too far back uh, on this occasion he's going to go for a move into the head and on board now with the finish driver is he going to send it no it doesn't send it uh, on the brakes but it's got a better exit now than the Englishman in front of him the ERS into overtake mode down the back straight and the pull to the outside and drive it around the outside of X Nakaji he breaks later when you get the move done Nati nearly puts him in the wall but Big Nathan is going to get that move done and indeed he does No DRS enabled for two more laps after the safety car has come back into the pits. Lap 7 of 15 as it stands. The Z-Tick, currently our highest place driver on track after Natty has to eventually come in for that pit stop. So after it's really done the fastest lap of the race then in that multiplayer car. Let's see what Zeta Corios can do now. As a TMS Vince come into the pits, and is that Geek Fusion following him in? Indeed it is. So they're both into the pit lane now. And that uh, Natty is slightly being swallowed up, but he's giving Zetic a chance to close onto the back. Sorry, uh, of the car of Piercy Beersy. Can Hearsy go for a move into turn four? Natty's gonna defend it as hard as he can. Can Hearsy hold it round the outside? Natty locks up. He's going to defend as hard as he can, but Zeta's looking for a move round the outside. He sent it round the outside. Can he make it work? Now, got the inside line for the next corner. Go on, Zeta. He's going to make the move on the inside. Gets the move done. And Zeta now puts himself up into the podium positions on track. Great move. And that Natty definitely doing uh, the Gabra Racing crew a service there. 
as the DRS hand will be enabled on the next half. I think Nasty will let Zetek go through here. Indeed, he does. But now can he join back online in front of the finish? Try it. He's going to try it, though. But is he going to put him in the wall nearly? And Nasty's still fighting this. That's why being on seven lap or mediums. Can he hold it round the outside? He's going to try, but no, he can't. And Multi is now through and up into fourth position. But now Zetek is in third. So that could be a very good point source for the Gamma Racing community. And in fact, the two drivers in front here both do have have time penalties let me just check uh, how many how much it is five seconds for both of them and so that means that ZTIC is currently still in the lead of the race this could be crucial for the outcome of this race it's also broken GRF detection now to multi with six laps to go in this race including this one this could really be on here for ZTIC provided that he doesn't get any more penalties and doesn't go um, obviously into the barrier but uh, he's going to keep his head down now I'm sure on that 9 of 15 and he could be taking home a win here for Gavro Uh, most of them are communicating with each other, Woody. I uh, think got about nine people in the party. As Natty now is just being overtaken by absolutely everything. It's really falling down, uh, down the pack now. And uh, I think he'll be th uh, thinking about uh, that pit stop. It doesn't look like that extra safety car that he needs for his strategy uh, is coming. Geek Fusion is now into the pits as well. And nothing. That be uh, manual retirement for Geek Fusion will keep you uh, updated. Then Dan Schneider with that three second time penalty. He's very late on to the brakes into the hairpin. I wonder if he'll be using that to his advantage then. But I think Nat is about to be overtaken once again. Potentially nothing happening at the moment. Oh, there's been a crash. Nat has been spun down and now he's taken out Dan Schneider as well. And there's been a big crash down there at the end of the middle sector. And they're all going like, nearly three or four wide into the next corner now. But it's Still to the, most of our drivers out of the top 10. No more Shadow is still in there though. He's going to try and make a move. And oh, Dan's out. That's, uh, that's not great. So uh, Nancy will definitely uh, be coming into the pits now. No more Shadow, only two tenths down on, on Tom Sack. And Sobs on picks up a three second time penalty. Uh, not too short position. He's in all oh, and uh, no much other is very very wide. Going into turn one, keeps it all together. But I don't think he has any damage done uh, to that car as it stands. Your shanks are picking up a three second time penalty. Oh, and Janetsky gets past uh, Heersy Beersy as well, and Multi is closing onto the back of Zetek. Zetek doing a great job, though, of closing that gap out in front. Down to 4.2 seconds now. He is really going for it, is the Englishman. Uh, one of our Super, our super League uh, points leader, in fact. Really gunning it under the lights here. Heersy Beersy trying to chase down Janet in the back of a fifth. I'm going to stay up here now with um, Zetek and Multi. I think Multi's starting to get affected a little bit by the dirt here. Has dropped back just uh, a couple of tenths over the past lap or so. 156 points. That is incredible. Thank you everyone for uh, being, being involved. very very close together out here on the track a lot of cars separate oh Dan has disconnected oh no sorry you're already retired that is a lot of yeah that's not a good sign <laughs> that is uh, not a good sign at all uh, we have lost about half of our field here the Zetic boat still looking good for the, for the race win on the circuit at least uh, depending on if uh, any penalties are removed but let's just uh, let's just keep going here, keep uh, heads down, and I'm sure we'll be able to bring home a result. As uh, overtaking is quite difficult on this track. I think Shanks has made a mistake in there somewhere. 
because he's falling out behind Pope and Zobzom. Uh, Pope, don't forget, was uh, the highest Gabra Racing Place driver uh, based uh, on points alone before he came into this race. He's going to be looking now to close uh, on that gap to Nomar Shadow in 10th, and he is also looking to get past Tonsak in the battle for P9 at the moment. DRS as well open down uh, the back straight here. Uh, DRS has happened fairly recently in Formula 1 history and uh, now we have it in the F1 2020 game as well. Obviously a couple of days ago F1 2021 uh, was announced which uh, means that we can start looking at things like a potential calendar and uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully leave it, uh, well, have some suggestions uh, from the chats what tracks they would like to see. I know for one that Imola and Portimao will definitely be on the calendar regardless. Yeah, but the events is a not a not a great great uh, way to um to end here in Singapore. But still still in it, still in it though to edge though. We've still got some uh, some drivers left and a lot of them are running in the points. Let's take a quick look here at the penalties. So uh, Yannick has picked up five seconds and all other drivers picking up three apart from Athe has picked up eight. So you could argue then that no matter what, Zizek will get at least second here as it stands. He's doing a really good job at the moment though. I uh, know our Gavra lot have not had uh, the most, the, the, the highest amount of practice uh, before this. Oh, well, so here's Wiz gets very close to the uh, exit wall there. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, all of the tracks in F1 2020 will be in the game, excluding the one, oh sorry no, all the tracks excluding the three new ones will be in the game at launch, uh, with the other games being released uh, in a post uh, update, post uh, post launch update. Uh, yeah, should definitely uh, allow us to have some more interesting calendars. There's also rumours of some uh, classic tracks potentially coming back. Hopefully, these uh, there's a comment in the chat that said that these two are having a bit of a battle, which could be helping out Zizek here. If they're fighting uh, on track for position for the uh, for the win here, this could allow Zizek Oreos to catch up and maybe get past them on the track. The gap's now down to 3.9 seconds, and Zizek is really pushing here onto lap 14 of 15 now. I'm not sure if he knows the two in front of him both have penalties. If he does, he's really getting on with this. His pace has been absolutely electric uh, in these final few uh, stages of the race. I'm going back down here to Normal Shadow. He has a DRS advantage now. And Massa next in front of him, looking to make his way now up the grid further and more into the points. And the more points he can secure, the better. Currently have 26 points in this race as it stands. Let's try and make it 27. DRS opens then for no march out of the Dutchman now. Down the back straight away, which also curves into the middle sector. Nothing that he can do, despite being on older tyres, don't forget. No is having a really good pace here at the moment as well. One of our freshman league drivers. Putting on a good show here in Singapore! Nearly went into the wall. Very nearly went into the wall, but uh, keeps it all together. That will be a dirty air, dirty air playing up with the aerodynamics of the car. Very tight, very twisty street circuit, so making a move is not the easiest thing in the world. But I'm sure our Gavra racing drivers will give it their best shot. Uh, hopefully, it won't back Oreo up. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if he'll if he'll um, if he'll catch him. Right? He's broken to the broken DR. So I've broken the DRS threat now uh, to multi behind him in fourth position. So based on penalties, uh, basically he should be able to take this one out. Oh, hello, Thunder. <laughs> oh shit! Wrong party. My bad. <laughs> <'Cause> you... <laughs> Are you commentating? Yes. Oh shit. Oh shit. Don't! <laughs> oh, that's a good, that's professionalism 100. Hello Thunder, bye Thunder. So the two out in front then. Still separated by about half a second here. Could be uh, some inward fighting, which could give Zetic a chance. Uh, 
uh, Matty um, was involved in a crash at the end of the uh, second straight Crit Tech. That's why he's currently down uh, in 15th. And I think he's gone for the fastest, going for the fastest lap attempt potentially. Who has that at the moment? Oh no. Uh, it's a 37.5 set by Littonen, who currently finds himself out in the lead. And uh, Rasnex picking up a three second time penalty. Could that help out Nomar Shadow in the battle for, for ninth? Uh, no, it would not, but it could help Pope in the battle for ninth here. Because it has the potential to jump Nomar and Rasnex. Zobson as well behind this doesn't have uh, many penalties, I don't believe. Yeah, indeed, only has three seconds of penalties as well. We head on to lap 14 of 15. Still looking good, still looking good for. Um, for Zetic to take the win here. 1.1 seconds now, the gap out in front, so uh, Lettinen is definitely stretching his legs a bit out there at the front. Run Paddy down the main straight, trying to gain uh, on his Finnish teammate. Uh, that driver seems to be running a very understeery setup here. The front of the car just sliding away towards uh, the walls, the embrace of the walls. Zetic though, just just for a moment, he has been absolutely incredible in this race. Let's close that gap down from about five seconds to three point three. That is all just his pure pace. And Run Penny actually does get past Tonsat uh, Ton there uh, in the battle for seventh. But Zetic now has closed that gap to 2.9 seconds. What a, what a drive uh, from Zetic here. That's really been a really, really, really great drive. And now through the hairpin for the final time. At least we'll have a Gabba racing car on the podium, that is certain. Let's head into the final sector. This is a very slow going Natty though. I'm sure that he won't be uh, holding up these drivers any bit. And now, through the final sector, it's looking good, it's looking good. Zetic's only 2.8 seconds behind after now as well. So unless something absolutely horrible happens, which I'm sure it won't, it looks like Zetic is going to take a win here in the community event. It's going to be letting him to take the win across the line. But well, it's going to be Zetic who takes it on penalties. There we go. That is a win. That is a win in my book. I see this as an absolute success. There we go. Great, great drive from Z to to take the win there. 3.8 seconds back uh, to Multi in second. With a now no much had it going across line in 10. I think Pope will take it. He does indeed. Which actually pushes uh, Nomar out of the points, unfortunately, for him. With a uh, Shankster, Finn, and then uh, Natty, who tried that audacious strategy, finishing uh, outside the top 10 in the air. I think Natty's gone for the fastest lap attempt here. Trying to take a point away, but he has picked up front wing damage as he's gone over the bridge. We'll see uh, if that slows him down a tad through the middle sector. I don't think it has. He's still up on his time. Could the Englishman snatch a point away from the Finnish crew in the final stages of the race? And uh, my phone has just run out of power, so I'm going to charge it real quick. Oh, and Naki picks up a three second time penalty there, but can he gain enough time on the other holds the fastest lap to take it? Oh, he's very wide. I don't know if he got it. I don't think he did. It was a 1 minute 38 as he came across like 1 minute 38.3. So unfortunately, then Naki not being able to secure uh, the fastest lap. He'll be uh, very disappointed with that, I am sure. Okay, I can't see uh, the chat at the moment. No, just bear that uh, in mind. So I'm just waiting for my friends to come back online and then. Uh, I will have a look at it. Yeah, very well done uh, to Zizik there, taking the win and doing a nice uh, baseball emote there on the podium as well. One race left then to decide it. He will win the uh, Gadra Racing versus Dirty Racing League community event. Call it a community shield, community wheel maybe? Community steering wheel, that could be a good title for it. Do this like every year. And hopefully, won't be getting smashed so much next year. But um, anyway, let's take you through the final finishing positions here. 
So Zetic takes the win uh, for Gavra with Multi Hukaya in second, Lessonen in third, and After in fourth. Here's Busy in fifth, Yana in sixth, Rump Paddy in seventh, Ton Task, uh, Ton Sack, sorry, in eighth, uh, Rasenex in ninth, and Pope rounding out the top ten. Zobzon was eleventh with No Mar Shadow in twelfth, Shanks the thirteenth, Finn in fourteenth, Natty in fifteenth, Dan Schneider sixteenth, uh, Geek Fusion seventeenth, Greg's the eighteenth, Cash Tech on nineteenth, and Bon Evil in twentieth and last position there. And that hopefully we can get some better luck next time out uh, for the Gav Racing Squad. As uh, my phone should be coming back momentarily so I'll be able to go back into the chat and have a look at what's going on uh, with you guys. Just give me a moment here. Let's get this all set up. Right then, so, uh, chat's still loading in, hopefully that loads in nice and quickly so I can see uh, what you lovely lot are asking me there in the chat. Let's be done with the controller for a second, it's still not loading in, just one minute here guys. Ah, there we go. So I'll be able to see all of your new messages uh, from now, hopefully. So, um, yeah, any questions that you have, just pop them in the chat and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Those, uh, those point tools aren't looking too good, are they? Only two of our drivers are in the top ten, but never, never say never. Never say never. Thank you to all 31 of you who have chosen to uh, tune in on this fine um, Saturday afternoon slash evening, wherever you are in the world. When we have a rematch, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get something done uh, so that we can um, get revenge. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like we're going to be walking away with the dub uh, on this one, but uh, always gracious uh, in defeat. We learn from losing, so uh, we'll come back stronger next time. Uh, Mon, yeah, Mon's definitely good testing for next week, because I'm sure you heard me say earlier, uh, all of our races this week are at Monza, so uh, you'll be getting sick of Monza, I'm sure, by the time we get to uh, Thursday uh, in the F1 League. But just to take you through who's going to be commentating and who will be driving uh, in each league this week. So on Monday, we've got the Academy with Tiger and myself uh, commentating on that. On Tuesday, Tiger and Evan will be taking you through all of the Freshman League action from Monza, where our state will be looking to further extend uh, his lead at the top of the championship. On Wednesday, join Natty and myself uh, for the Premier Series action where Cash Tangle is looking to close the gap on Absolute 11 in the championship fight. And then on Thursday, all of our Super Drive will be seeing what they can do about ZTIC's championship lead. Also, from Monza, then on Friday, join um, Ben Roberts and Isaac Smart. It should be in the commentary box. They'll be taking you through all of the GT Sport action from Fuji in the Group 2 class, which uh, I'm quite looking forward to. Yes, uh, Thunder definitely did bring in all of the viewers, definitely. Uh, no pun three, no F1. So, yeah, um, let me uh, do some, some mathematics here. See what kind of state we're in. Although, I'm sure as you can tell by the uh, figures that are on the screen, it's not a very good one at the moment. We've only got 19 drivers yet. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's one of ours who is disconnected. <laughs> uh, 
I believe we are missing someone. Well, I cannot tell who it is. Ah, whoever was in 15th is missing. Ah, Dan is missing. Thank you, Gav. Uh, do you know if he'll be joining back or... Oh, Dan's here. Oh, but he joins back. Okay, cool. Experiencing uh, some downtime in between lobbies, have about 10 minutes or so before we get uh, the next lobby started. <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure to be honest with you, Pierre. Let's just go through and count. Oh no, yeah, there we go. Oh, Jetsy is here, so we've got Jetsy stepping in then. Uh, as a last minute reserve, we'll be replacing whoever was here before. Oh, what, sorry, we wasn't here. No, Jetsy, obviously one of our... Um, he replaces the ass, yes, so no Marsh Shadow has left, which means that Jetsy will be replacing him, one of our Super League drivers. Has some fairly good results uh, in the Super League. Uh, last couple uh, of races and he'll be here now trying to um, help out the Gagra squad in this final race. Yes, indeed, Pierre Monza is definitely our home track. Obviously, Gavra Racing being started by the one and only Gavra Novik, the uh, main Italian man himself. So uh, this is definitely kind of a home race for him, but hopefully next season we'll be able to have two Italian Grand Prix, with Imola also being added to the roster. Should be interested. interesting. Now, that is one thing that we have over the Finnish drivers. We've got... We will have two home tracks next year, but F1 won't be going to the Kaimi Ring or Kimi Ring or uh, what's, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, Gary, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, make us proud here. Make us proud here. If, if we're going to pick a track to really pull out the stops and massively improve, it's got to be this one. And uh, I'm just going to dive in to uh, the chat with the drivers and see um, see what's going on with them. I don't think you'll be able to hear me, but I'm just going to meet up and I'll tell you what they were saying. I'm difficulties uh, with my phone 
chat here. I won't be able to check uh, check the chat. But I think we're still experiencing uh, a bit of downtime here. Gonna wait for all of our drivers to get back into their cars and ready to go for the Italian Grand Prix. The final round uh, of the Gab Racing X Dirty Racing League um, community event. The versus, the face off which we are currently losing quite dramatically but I'm sure our drivers will be doing everything they can uh, to change that currently got, what's that, one, two, three, four, five drivers with zero points uh, six if you include Jetsy but that would be unfair as he has only just joined so hopefully we'll be able to swap that round and gain loads of points <laughs> but I think uh, we're going to need a Gabba Racing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, for that to happen, which, you know, could happen, never say never. Let's check that we're actually still, uh, still streaming here. Indeed we are. Right, so Ben is coming back online any moment now, there we go. Hopefully it doesn't die on me. If anyone is an expert in iPhone batteries, that would be somewhat helpful. Other smartphones are available. No, it's back now. Uh, yeah, it's back on. I'm just going to check if the um, the battery's still messing around because it says it's on four percent now, but I'm not sure if it is actually on 4% because it lies. <laughs> but so uh, yeah, uh, if there are any more questions that you guys have, put them in the chat. I'll uh, do my best as long as I can see them and my phone doesn't die again, which would not be uh, very gamer. Yes, uh, it is a big gap. It is a very big gap, Piero. <laughs> uh, I haven't done the maths myself, but if you could post it, if you have and you can post it, that would be a, a good place to start, I think, for uh, us to visualise the uh, the mountain that we must overcome. Yes, we do definitely need a rematch, and we'll be getting the top 10 Super League drivers to do it, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure Gav will get on that. We can have a, a proper rematch here. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Gav will be getting on making uh, arrangements for, uh, for a rematch very uh, fairly certainly. I'm scrolling through the menus here. Not got much to talk about. I think we're going to get back to racing. Indeed we are. There we go. So the time begins to count down. Then the nerves build. The heart rates rise. We're going to go out to qualifying here one last time in the Gavra Racing versus Dirty Racing League um, a community event here. The, uh, the face-off between the two racing communities. And hopefully, hopefully, we can have a good result here at our home Grand Prix. And look, I think personally that uh, Gavra Racing is, is the best name. That might be one thing that we have. Maybe. <laughs> the, the, the Dirty Racing League might set a, a dangerous precedent, but I'm sure uh, that they're all perfectly fine and clean drivers. As they, as they have proven, actually, as they have definitely proven uh, over the last three races, all very clean and very, very quick indeed. 
these weights for the one shot quality here in Monza, which is a very hard track uh, to commentate on qualifying at the best of times. So doing it in one shot quality, let's just ride on board with someone and uh, see what lines they're taking, how they're committing themselves to the track. And uh, let's get ready to go here for one final time this afternoon. So hopefully we haven't had a lobby glitch here. That would not be a uh, a good one. 149 points. Di wow. Okay. Yeah, we need a um. We need a bit of a miracle here. <laughs> Realist realistically. So uh. Oh, it's a wet race. Wet race. That could um. Hopefully that's good. Natty, is that good for us or bad for us? Full wet race. Okay, confirmed. So he's gonna have some action then in the final stages of qualifying. Doing well at the moment down the main straight. Natty Geek Fusion leading the way at the moment. Oh, I can't even. Let's just let's get up to Natty. Here we go. Then on board with the next Natty G down to the first chicane. But it's very late, it's locked up, and it's gone wide. That's compromised this line now through the second of the uh, three turn two. So now in towards Curva Grande. Keeps it to the right hand side. Keeps it nice and tight to the curve on the apex of the corner. And now straight in the car. Uses little steering angle as possible for hard braking now into the second chicane over the curb careful not to invalidate here goes very wide onto the gravel as they lose Natty even more time as you head into the first Lesmo and now back on the tower short shot up through the gears and Razanex out so Razanex is out of this qualifying session that would be a boost to the hopes of the Gabba racing team through the second Lesmo now and down the back straight towards Ascari corner named after the great racing legend Alberto Ascari as now we head into the fast left right left chicane where Stroll and uh, uh, Vettel had that crash in 2019 and Natty's invalidated this lap and that will be his one shot quality over which is obviously not great but a, a wet race that could be uh, just the, the remix that we need to get back into this our drivers are hopefully very good in the wet let's see uh, where our drivers are Jetsy goes into P4 so great stuff from him uh, in his daily for the Gabba Racing event. <laughs> Shame on you, Natty, says Piero. There might be a lot of that going around after the lobby uh, closes. So, Yannick takes another pole position here with Multi in second. Jetsy, third. Great result uh, from Jetsy. Here's he busy in fourth. Zobson in fifth. Letten then in sixth. Tonsack in seventh. Dan Schneider in eighth. Zetek Oreos in ninth. And Rump Paddy in tenth. Sorry, uh, Cash Stengel in 11th with Pope in 12th, Finn in 13th, Bonneville 14th before Shankster, Geek Fusion, Atfair, Greg Sennati and Rosanex who have all been disqualified from the session. That will be because they invalidated their laps and not because they tried to do something stupid. Is the point scoring system in the league the same as in the league? Yes it is, uh, Simsof. So 1st uh, to 10 to get points, 25 to 1. Oh, Natty, you, wow, wow, shame, shame on you, shame on you, Natty, that is, no, that, that is despicable, I, I, no, you've let, you've, let, you've let your team down, you've let the country down, and you've let yourselves down, now let's just get out here and put on a good performance. Actually, just been trolled by X Natty G whilst in commentary. This is unacceptable. <laughs> so then, five seconds to go before we find out who will win and who will lose this race. And uh, we're going to get going for a formation lap then. So, chance for the drivers to get uh, comfortable with their cars in the track one last time uh, before we go racing. A track where it should hopefully be fairly easy to overtake. 
<laughs> yes, uh, Nats will be getting a community ban after the race, I am sure, but uh, Gav will be able to dish those out uh, like hotcakes. As you've almost had a cr oh, we have had a crash. This <laughs> Ritter next is off into the grass. That is not where you want to be uh, on the formation lap. Point one to Gav Racing. <laughs> It should be slightly easier to overtake than Singapore. I think a lot of our drivers as well will have uh, experience from this track after practicing for it, as we do have all of our league racing action coming to you live here over the next coming weeks. So a good chance for me to practice my commentary skills as well around here. We're going to have a, a big slipstream uh, train, big lipstream train in this race. Yeah, I know Piero, I know. He, he, he's very tricksy. He's just... He, he just can't be trusted, really. He, for those of you who don't know, Natty likes to troll everybody in various chats by saying that um, Lewis Hamilton's got a penalty or will be retiring uh, mid-season or at the end of the season. So uh, we should... We, 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 to be honest, it's really on us. We really should not have trusted him with his information. But it, was, it was backed up by Pope, and I trust Pope. So uh, he's unfortunately also uh, bamboozled me. So yeah, hopefully our drivers can bring it back, although Geek Fusion and Gregster have both been taken off the, uh, the formation lap. Uh, let's let the right engine mode, we've got some cars on the soft, some cars on the mediums. Let me get this lemon shot so I know when the lights do actually go out. The most drivers outside the top 10 then choosing to start on the mediums to five red lights now, but that won't be when the drivers go. Watch for the revs to build for the final time. There we go, the revs build. The RPM is selected and we're underway for the final time here this afternoon with a front row getting off very well and now look at Jetsy going into combat straight away in towards the first okay gonna go to the inside making it three wide under pressure now from the finish cars behind they come together though and the finish cars are crashed into each other that could be a massive opportunity for the rest of the grid to get past by the big crash in sector one they're going three or four wide almost now that's nice mixed up a three second time penalty already for corner cutting and now Dan Shadow gets himself up into 8th place, they're still going 3 wide round curve of Grande, Cash Dangle on the inside, there's more contact, and Zobzom going down the inside of Dan Schneider but Dan keeps his cool, and goes round the outside, Cash has to cut the chicane who doesn't go into his teammate of Bon Evil he goes in sector 2 now as well, and that's Finn Finn now at the back, and does have heavy damage on the front left hand side of the back car, but Jetsy has got knocked on an absolutely flying start, and now we have a virtual safety car And, uh, well, that was certainly a more entertaining start, let's say. And we now have, what is that, one, two, three, four, five cars in the top ten. This has worked out fairly well, it must be said, for the Gather Racing community. And they're still under virtual safety car then. And no, we're not now, they're back to green flag racing. What can Jet do about Janet in front? You've got yellows in sector three. Oh, that's Cash Dengel. Cash Dengel's round at the Parabolica. He will spin back round and bring that car back uh, to the pit lane, I think. But all of the cars now so close together. But I think Jetsy has really got some good pace here. Gregs has left the sessions. That won't be good uh, for our points haul in this race. Now Jetsy really closing the gap on Yannet out in front. Three tenths of a second separates them. How is the standing? Uh, absolute 11. I, I won't lie to you, it's not great. It's uh, it's not great. I think we're about 100 and something points behind. But still, we can still make up ground here in this race. We can still make up ground. <laughs> Through Ascari now in the battle for the lead. Jetsy really closing the gap. GRS will be enabled uh, on the next lap. We'll get the interval gaps up on here for you. 
and now actually Zetic looks to make a move on here's he beers he's Zetic going to the inside into the parabolic he can't even make the move stick he can't on the inside line here's he tries to fight it though on the outside line but Zetic gets the move done and puts his car up into fourth position as lexington has got past Bonnie Evil in the battle for 10 pushes her now down and out of the points that DRS indeed has been enabled. natty has got a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. That's not great. But anyway, check C. 0.4 of a second behind Yannet now. Kind of a, uh, a little bit of a train forming behind them as actually Yannet's gone into the gravel uh, on the exit of turn five. And now this could give Jetsy a chance. After the second Lesbo and down the second DRS straight. DRS opens then for the Dutch driver. Trying to make a move on the fitness ahead under the bridge and barrel uh, towards a scary corner. It's gaining all the time in just literally nothing that Jetsy can do at this point in time, however. Now through Ascari once again down the back straight. It looks like Yannick's just running with slightly less uh, front wing perhaps. That's not allowing Jex to close onto the back of the blue and white car. Into the Parabolica for the third time. And back out once again. TRS will be open for Jexy once again down the longer of the two straights. Yellow oh, safety car and fins out. And will we see drivers start to come into the pits? Dan Schneider's come into the pits. Oh, and Zoltan picks up a three second, a five second penalty, sorry, for a collision with Bonnie Evil. Uh, no idea what's happened there. We've got a big crash down there towards the back of the field. has that worked out for us? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six cars now into the top ten. Very nice work there from uh, the Gabba Racing lot. And uh, has anyone stayed out? Although Geek Fusion has stayed out under the set. Oh no, sorry, uh, they haven't actually caught up uh, to the back of the safety car queue yet. So I imagine all of our top ten will be coming into the pit lane. Get on a fresh set of boots and get back out once again. Uh, it was supposed to be raining Gab, but unfortunately Natty lied. So uh, yeah, that's not going to be happening now. <laughs> so then, what? Well, everyone come into the pits. Everybody does go into the pit lane. Everyone gets nice and slowed down so that no one picks up a penalty. Does Geek Fusion come in? Yes, indeed. Has anyone been held up in the pit? It doesn't look like it. Z6 in onto set of the medium tyres and gets back out again. Same for Jet C. No real big change in the pit. No, there is. There is a Z-Tick now. z -tick has jumped multi. z -tick into third. That is brilliant news for the Gabba Racing lot. Oh, Dan Schneider has been the sack. Oh, no, not really. He puts the lap earlier. So, Dan Schneider now up into P6. And this is turning into our best race yet. As we've now got cars from behind as well. Out there now on fresh soft tyres. They can hunt down the uh, drivers on the mediums. And uh, things could, could be getting a little bit spicy here. We may have added a big vat of spice, and I am liking it. <laughs> Thank you, Gav. Thank you for doing that. Bye, Natty. You lied. <laughs> Natty's there. Well, that, that's, from, that's from the boss, man. So that's going to be it. That's it. Sorry, Nat. You're gone. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure Gabriel will uh, give him a pardon. And 
end up on Eagle then, trying to make her way now up onto the back of the safety car train. Let's uh, see what she can do. I do quite like that uh, Union Jack livery, apart from the weird box at the front where you can see it kind of tapers in a bit. I don't understand why why Code Martins have chosen to do that, but uh, they have nonetheless. under the safety cup and I think this will be our final lap under the safety cup before we go back uh, to the green flag. Uh, so where do our drivers stand at the moment then? So Jetsy in second, Zetic in third, Dan Schneider in sixth, Pope in seventh, Geek Fusion in eighth, and sorry, uh, Pope in eighth, Geek Fusion in ninth, and Shankster in tenth. But crucially here though, Shankster, Geek Fusion, and Pope all on a set of the soft tyres. All of the cars in front of them are on the medium, so in theory they should have quite a significant advantage on those new tyres. This has also brought the likes of X and Natty G uh, back into play as well. Uh, these two now catching up to the back of the pack. Getting a bit of a formation here, high speed formation driving. Be careful not to run into each other, that would not be a very good look. Uh, speaking of looks, let's take a look at the uh, Mercedes AMG GT safety car. No idea if this will be changed from race to race in the F1 2021 game as it is in real life between the Mercedes uh, and the Aston Martin. Uh, actually, let us know in the comments which cars you like more, the, uh, the Mercedes or the Aston, because I think I personally really do like the Aston Martin. Yeah, I do agree. They, they, they definitely that's designed their own liveries. Like, I think GT Sport does it very well uh, with the uh, brand logo and stuff that you can buy. Uh, but you can buy something that you can uh, get on the uh, Discovery page over there. Oh, both. Piero likes both. So uh, thank you, Piero, for not giving us your, well, for giving us your opinion, but for not letting us choose sides. So, the safety car will be going back into the pits then. Yannette will become with a back to the safety car in the final sector. They decide when we get to go. When will they put their foot down? Giving a little bit of a break check to Jetsy for the final corner. Jetsy's picked up a five second time penalty. All right, here we go. Back to green flag racing. Yannick's yeah, left this very late. There's been a crash in the back on a bunch of drivers have penalties. Oh, two finished cars into the pits. We're going to go back to green flag racing now then, and Zetic immediately on the on the defensive now, with Moltz trying to go around the outside into turn one. Can Moltz hold it? Yes, he can, but Zetic's going to get the better traction now out the corner, maybe no. Gets pushed out onto the grass, and that's going to leave him vulnerable to Tonsack as well in the battle for P5. And that Tonsack kind of go around the outside of Dan Schneider, activates the overtake button, it's like activating hyperdrive. And he goes round the outside, but Bonnie sets it! Bonnie sets it into the corner, there's contact between the two Gadra cars, no! No, no, no! Bonnie's out. Jetsy then still behind Yannet. Uh, Both have five seconds worth of time penalties though, so at the moment Morty's actually in the lead of this one. Zetic now is back down to fifth. to make a move on Geek Fusion Shanks looking interested in this as well need some communication to make sure we don't end up uh, in another crash yeah I think the, the blame in that instant has to rest on Bonnie's shoulders there she uh, went for a move that was way too late uh, in the corner Yeah, that's going to be a 
yeah, very disappointing there for the Gavra Racing crew. Still got how many is that there? One, two, three, four, five. Still got half and half in the uh, in the points as it stands with a cash single as well. Close on to the back uh, of Rump Paddy. And now Jetsy looking to make a move past Yannet for the uh, lead of the race, though it won't be the lead on the road. It does have that penalty, obviously that five second time penalty. But uh, he won't care about that, he's a racer. Dan has retired. GRS is enabled. And what's happened to Dan here? Oh, his car's just parked in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah, that's a fairly significant crash there. Jetsy looking to close on Yannick, gonna make a move maybe into turn four. Stays behind at the moment. A yellow set to one, I think that could be Xnati G. Has just picked up, has picked up a five second penalty for corner cutting. I've never seen that before, but um, yeah, see obviously uh, being very inventive with his own track limits. Jetsy trying to make a move on Yannick, but as you can see, even with the DRS, doesn't seem to have enough in a straight line to get past the blue and white car as they make their way now through Ascari and back out on towards the back straight. Now one, two tenths, sorry, between our top two. What can they do now as we head down the main straight once again? Jets is running out of time to complete this move. This is the closest that he's been over the last couple of laps. Pulls to the inside, and this is a move for the lead of the race. Jetsy on the inside gets past Yannick before we even get to the braking zone. Pulls back in front of the blue and white car. Gets the move done. Nicely done there by Jetsy. Zeta Goros gets up into fourth as well. And we are starting our fight back now then with Pope as well. On the soft tyres, don't fight each other, boys, because we don't need that right now. Geek Fusion goes up into seventh as well here. Can you try and get past Tom? Tonsac going into turn four in the slipstream still, but Tonsac's got more ERS to play with and nothing that he can do, but Pope's on the inside. And Pope now goes up into P7. At least they kept it clean that time going into turns four and five. And now Pope with DRS open, but more importantly, Yannet is closing on to the back of Jetsy. What can Jetsy do here now? We originally thought in the commentary that uh, Jetsy and Jutsy were uh, related, but uh, amazingly not. Five tenths now behind is Yannet, but Yannet has got that better straight line speed. Then our man Jetsy, he's also had a better exit going off the final corner. It doesn't look like Jetsy will be able to put up much of a defence here. That's a good defence, doesn't even bother defending it because he knows it will be futile as Yannet now moves back up into the lead of the race. But look at Pope, Pope on the back of Tonsac. Can he make a move into turn one? He's going to go for it down the inside. What a dive. And he gets the move done. That was beautifully executed from the Englishman. What a move from Pope. A uh, beautiful camera shot to go along with it. We've got Yellows in Sector 1. That's our uh, Shankster. Shankster spun. What a move from Poe. That was incredible. Trying to see where the car the cars are now on the circuit. Jetsy really closing onto the back of Yannet now. Really closing the gap here. I think this could be the battle for second on the road. Will Jetsy have a go before we get to the parabolic? He's gonna move to the inside. Backs out of it though. Doesn't go for the move just yet. But Yannick's locked up. That's gonna give Jetsy a chance now down the main straight shortly. Let's get back up into the lead of this race. Here's he Beersy and Zeta. Oreo's going wheels into the parabolica. And Oreo shoves Beersy off the track as is his right as the car on the inside line. But Jetsy making a move for the lead of the race. And he has been the move for the lead of the race. Yannick goes to fence. That's gonna give Jetsy a run into turn one. Can he make a move? Round the outside, get a better exit now off the corner and get past the fin. 
What can he do here now as we have back through the Curve Grande? Is there anything that the Dutchman can do? Going to move to the outside like Kimi Raikkonen in 2018, but nothing uh, that Jetsy can do here. As what happens is, oh, Orioles is in the pits. What's happened to Orioles there? He's dropped now out of the points once again. He must have had damage. Oh, and now Jetsy looking to be overtaken by Morty as well, going into the Ascari chicane, and he has been as contact. Gets shoved off the track once again, gets his foot in it, but he's spun, he's been spun off! And he's in the wall, and he's round. Pope will go up into P3. Oh, Jetsy needs to get out of there. Jetsy, oh no! Oh no, no, no! And as I was saying that Jetsy needed to get out of there, the reason why showed it showed itself. Three cars out uh, of the race. That will put Zeta back into the points. But uh, not the way that we wanted the event to end here. Onto the final lap of the race. Well, that's a dramatic ending. Uh, anyway, on the last lap uh, of the race, we'll see what the penalties are looking like though, because it could still be on for Pope. He currently finds himself 5.6 seconds behind uh, Yannet, and uh, about another four, about four seconds, sorry, behind uh, Malty. Let's see what they can do. So only 12 cars will finish this race, and. Um, on the last lap, let's see how many that we still have in the top 10. We've got Pope, two, three, uh, four. Four in the top 10 of six. But uh, well done uh, to our Finnish compatriots. Looks like they're gonna take another win here in the Gab Racing X Dirty Racing League event. There's a multi taking the win in the end on penalties. It will be Pope who joins them on the podium ahead of Piersy Beersy in fourth, Geek Fusion in fifth, and Cash Stengel across the line. He will be in sixth position and very happy with that. Uh, clearly Leighton and uh, in eighth, sorry. Yeah, Zeta Orris somehow managing to come back to points. This might be a faster slap potentially from the Brit. Overtake activated if you go to the line. Is it the fastest lap of the race? It is the fastest lap of the race. Well done uh, to Z Tick. Gets three points then for ninth position. Uh, great effort uh, from him. And uh, yes, Natty is last. Nothing more shall be said about that. Let's uh, not try to use fruitful language in the chat, please. Oh, oh, Natty's, um, he's crashed. Well, uh, Arthur's just doing, um, yeah, doing some donuts. Brings it across the line now, though. Yeah, definitely uh, GG to our Finnish friends. They were better than us today. And they have taken home the dub. So commiserations to all of the drivers for Gabra Racing. I'm sure Gab will be having a very emotional rant at all of the drivers in in the uh, changing rooms after the after the uh, race. But uh, yeah, well done to all of our Finnish drivers. Not all of our Finnish drivers. Either. And on the podium, then Malty taking a win in the last race of the community event and uh, I don't know if we need to wait for the uh, uh, the total points to be added up but I, I think that 
it's fairly comprehensive as to who won. Let's take you through the final points finishing positions here anyway. So Morty in first and Yana in second, Pope third, Heersy Beersy in fourth, Geek Fusion in fifth, Cash Sengel in sixth, Zobzon in seventh, Litanen in eighth, Zetic Oreos in ninth, and Rose Senex in tenth. After uh, in eleventh, Xnati G in twelfth, Tonsat in thirteenth, Rump Paddy in fourteenth, Jetsy fifteenth, Shanks the sixteenth, Dan Schneider seventeenth, Bonivo eighteenth, Finn nineteenth, and Greg rounds out the top 10 in what has been a fairly disappointing afternoon <laughs> oh we can actually see the overall standings then so uh Multi is a driver's champion with uh, our uh, two drivers up there in third and fourth Oreos and uh, Pope Geek Fusion uh, down in ninth as well uh, Cash Shengel and Bonnie all managing to score points with uh, Shankster, Natty, Jetsy and Gregster all not managing to pick up any points uh, out of the people from our team but uh, nonetheless well done to uh, all the Gather Racing drivers you uh, tried your best and uh, yeah we'll be organising a rematch very quickly <laughs> I assume Gav <laughs> yes, Natty will definitely have some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, well done to everyone. Has given us some uh, some great racing uh, this afternoon. Uh, Tiger, uh, I'm sure, will have wanted to stay around for the whole thing, but he is currently karting in real life at the moment uh, in the track up in the north somewhere. But uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll be enjoying that and telling us all about it once he gets back. And I'm going to talk about it on Monday when we have the Academy uh, coming to you from Monza, the track where we just watched this uh, frankly amazing race uh, in the community event. Then join Evan and Tiger on Tuesday for taking you through all of your freshman league uh, action also from Monza and on Wednesday me and Natty going off to Monza once again uh, for the Premier Series and on Thursday it will be Dutchie and Tiger back in the commentary box for the Super League the fastest drivers here and Gabba Racing and uh, me and Natty also compete in that so if you want to see us step out of on me step out of the commentary box which you've already seen Natty and uh, he did not cover himself in glory today <laughs> out of the commentary box and uh, into one of the cars and uh, make sure to tune into that and on Friday make sure to join Ben Roberts and Isaac Smart we'll be taking you through all of the GT Sport action from Fuji in Group A but from me it's been uh, an interesting experience watching uh, our drivers face off against another league unfortunately we didn't get the outcome uh, that we necessarily wanted but nonetheless it's been a very entertaining afternoon uh, but from me and from the rest of the Gabba Racing team it's going to be goodbye and we'll see you on Monday <laughs>